Today's interview guest is Yuri Beetz. He has written a really cool tool for researching the unified patent court data. Thank you for being on the show, Yuri. Yeah, nice being here. Uh, so um, you have programmed a tool at upc.beats.nl. The, the address is uh, below our faces in this video, so everyone can find it. Tell me, tell me why you, what was your intention? Why did you program this? Why did you make it available? And it's really cool, so I'm really grateful, but maybe you share a little bit background. Yeah, yeah, it started with a little bit of frustration about how uh, unaccessible the official Unified Patent Court uh, website was. If you want to look for an opt-out there, I think it takes about 30 seconds to get information about the patent being opted out or not. And you can search for cases, but if you look for infringement cases, then it said there were 15 and then you, it only showed two of them and you had no idea where the others were. Uh, and of course, as an attorney, I could look in, uh, I could log into the CMS and look at, yeah, look at the cases myself. But I thought this, uh, yeah, this should be a better way to do this. And yeah, since, since my youth, I would say, yeah, and it's already in school, I, I have been building websites now and then uh, for sport clubs or uh, I once had a very successful website for a fan site for a Dutch band uh, about 25 years ago. Uh, and I once made an, a nice website with uh, EQE statistics that was was very popular. Uh, but the, yeah, that website sort of lost its relevance when the EPOs stopped uh, publishing uh, all the individual results of all the candidates. Uh, but yeah, I just saw an opportunity to build something cool, something new uh, that might actually be useful uh, in relation to the UPC. And I've always been very interested in the UPC and following everything. And uh, I'm one of the many attorneys who's trying to uh, get a bit of the of the big pie of of new cases and uh, new interesting stuff that may uh, may go on in this new court. And so I thought, uh, yeah, let's just build a nice UPC tool, see how far I can get. And uh, yeah, there have been some struggles with the public API because the results are not always complete. Uh, and sometimes the response times are very, very slow. Uh, but uh, yeah, I managed to work my way around it. And uh, yeah, while building this, I just, I just kept adding more and more features. But oh, maybe this is possible. Maybe that is possible. And uh, at some point, I thought this is uh, not just a nice tool. I should make a little bit of promotion and uh, advertise this. Yes. And uh, let other people. Uh, enjoy some access to the UPC systems too. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, maybe I forgot to tell a fellow European patent attorney with Kelty LLP in London and you're based in London and you're also a long time tutor for EcoE students. Yeah. yeah, thank you for this, uh, for this uh, engagement and for helping people to become fellow uh, European patent attorneys. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> So let's jump into this tool. Um, as you see, it's a very simple nice interface. Um, you can just click on patents and then, for example, you can enter any patent like this one and the patent data and then it, we can see, okay, it's patent so-and-so, application date, grant date, unitary patent effect and final opposition date. And yeah, so it's very, very easy. You can just plug in any number and uh, and immediately get um, when it was granted and when the unitary effect was there and when it's opted in, when it's opted out and everything. So it's really useful and much quicker than than with the UPC, uh, official UPC. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can click on the Aspasnet and the register links if you want to know more. Oh, and yes, I see that. Okay, cool. Familiar, uh, Wow. Familiar websites directly to the, the patent you're looking for. Yeah. And okay. it shows opt out data, of course, but this is a unitary patent that is, not, of course, not opted out. Yes. Okay. So then uh, we go to the cases section. Uh, and uh, one thing is that this is a one pager. You can also scroll there, but you can also just click there and then you are there. 
And when you click on infringement, for example, you see all infringement cases immediately. You don't have to wait and you actually you see all cases because with the public search of the UPC, you only see the first two or so and the rest yeah. for some reason and error are not displayed. And here you can just scroll through all the pages. It's really, really nice. Also by um, like chronological. So you can see, for example, on page one, like the last one infringement third of August and for you look on the details you can see okay the representative is Sören Dahm and the representative for the defendant is not yet named and yeah and then you can also click on Aspasnet in the register and you see the case number you even see the number the names of the judges uh, Matthias Zigan and Thomas Pichelmeier um, it's really, really cool, very cool tool. I'm very grateful that you programmed this. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's how to, and also if there's other cases uh, in for that are related to this patent, you will see that lower down in that overview. So there will be direct links right. to that. Uh, to so you can see this is 163, and you can see, okay, 163 is also enforced here against um, yeah. OROP, OROP and OPPO, not only yeah. against um, here yeah. Beijing, Xiaomi. Yeah, when, Xiaomi. When, you click on, when you click on view few details, you will also see that in that uh, detailed case overview, I think, at the bottom. Right. Scroll down to the bottom of this. Of, of this one? Uh, yeah. Can you scroll down yeah. in the in the overlay? Yeah, let's you, see. I see a few details down Further um, down on the bottom of uh, the yes, uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I try. Uh, okay, it says few details. Other case. Um, yeah, it's difficult. My, let's see. I, I, I will it, try to I add it over it. Yeah, let's see. I will try. I can move you here yeah. Yeah. so you see the so we can see the, the details of the claimant yeah. and the defendants and. The, the other, other UPC actions, action. so we see, okay, further UPC actions related for, for the same patent. So that's really useful. Yes. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, so we can also um, not only look for infringement cases, of course, but also for revocation actions. And these are also in chronological order. So very, very. The first one uh, has just been added, uh, I saw just a few hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, if you also here, you can click on the EP number on the left. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I see that. If, and then it goes. Ah, there. yes. Got the information for the, for that. Okay. Pattern. And then we see, okay, there's an infringement case and a revocation phase case. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Wow. Very cool. So it, it updates the other sections wherever whenever you click there, it will update the the patent section as well, like for yeah. the tool. Wow, I didn't see that before. Great. No, it's a, it's a hidden link. It's not even underlined. Yes. Yeah. But it's because I wanted to make a simple and plain interface. So I'm not explaining where you can click and what you can fill in. Uh, you have to find out yourself a little bit. I try to make it intuitive. Uh, uh, so that people will actually find it, but uh, yes. there might be uh, hidden features. Yes, yeah. Play, maybe one one uh, desired feature could be like patents, cases, representatives, and help. <laughs> like something where you yeah. explain all where, where people can click and what they yeah. can do and it whatever. Be, it would be good to make a user manual. That's a that's a good idea. <laughs> but but yeah, but it's a free tool, yeah. so well I don't complain. So yeah. it's uh, it's no, really very I, nice tool. That would involve copywriting, and I have much more fun doing the coding and yes. uh, adding functionality. Is more <laughs> is more fun than. Uh, writing a, a technical text that's going to explain how things work that, then it looks more like work right so then of course you can also look for provisional measures only two so far 
Yeah. And um, what what else you can do is you can search for the parties that are involved. And the really helpful thing is that you only you there you can see a list if you click on the down button, a down arrow, yeah. and you can see all the parties that are already on the system. Not not all applicants, but only the parties that are already on the system. That's really cool. So you can scroll through this list, and you see okay, Tesla is already party. Yeah. So for example, or Xiaomi is party. We already know that from the example or my, or screen, my event. head is in front of this i don't know how that will look for the viewers just the, but the the the, the ah yes yes oh sorry behind my ah, yes uh, yes video. yes let's see why is this not shared uh, okay for some reason it doesn't share the pop-ups uh, i don't know okay so i trust my 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 explanation uh, for some reason the pop-up is not shared on the on the screen but you can do the same with the representatives you can yeah. uh, you can click here on the down arrow of the representatives and then you see i just have to tell you now <laughs> believe me <laughs> you see all the representatives that are already on file and you can also type in a name of course yeah, or part of a name the part of uh, a name right name works too so that's really like cool that. and then also also you can uh, search for any representative that is there for example my colleague Alois Hüttermann let's see and then you can see okay he is authorized and his address and so on and of course uh, your name we can also find so you are also authorized and this is your address and yeah, yeah. It's where really now. cool yeah I'm very grateful that you programmed this tool. This is very easy to use tool. It's so much faster than uh, than the tool from from the UPC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still hoping that the the public API will improve and will offer more functionality. And the original promise was that we would be able to download documents. Uh, but yeah, even in the attorney in the closed attorney CMS, it's not possible yet to look at. Uh, at documents yeah uh, but yeah if that function uh, will arrive at some point in the future i'm uh, hoping to be able to add that uh, too yes well thank you very much for uh, for coming on to my video and um, i hope that everyone visits upc.bates thank you very much yuri yeah thanks okay Goodbye. Bye-bye.